Hi, this is George Cow, and in today's short video, I want to encourage you to evaluate your enrollment activities, the activities that you do uh, for the purpose of gaining new clients. So, you know, a couple of examples, of course, are contacting your um, previous clients uh, to send something, some gift, some freebie. Uh, maybe exploratory calls, contacting your previous clients to send something on to their friends and their colleagues who could benefit from your services. Um, another example would be to, of course, post your freebie on social media, Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, things like that. Um, another example would be to uh, contact referral partners, people who have an audience that obviously need your stuff, your services, that the referral partner herself doesn't provide. And so it would be a win-win truly if you were to come along and serve her audience in that way. Um, there are lots and lots of enrollment ideas and in the comments uh, underneath the video, I will give you some, some more ideas of enrollment activities. But the main point I wanna make in this video is that there is no silver bullet. Stop looking for a single solution that's supposed to work for everyone. If anyone's trying to sell you, you must use this formula to get clients, or this is the perfect formula, run the other way. They are trying to sell you something. They're trying to sell you something that's good for their profit, but they don't know you. How do they know it's perfect for you? There's dozens, if not hundreds, of enrollment activities that, you could, that anybody could do to get clients. And so the, the key really is to experiment with enough of them and evaluate as you experiment. So you know what works for you. So I'm gonna encourage you to start a, start a log. Maybe it's a spreadsheet or maybe it's just a document or some kind of notebook where you are um, uh, listing what activities for enrollment you are doing, what kind of outreach activities you're doing to get clients, and then evaluating them based on a couple of factors i'll give you some sample factors again factors you're going to have to determine for yourself too but some sample factors include uh how much do you enjoy that activity so that would be a score maybe from zero as you did not enjoy it at all one as you somewhat enjoyed it and two as you enjoyed it very much and you would do it uh even if you know money were no object okay and then another fact so in, in, instead of enjoyment you could put growth like how much did you feel like you grew personally in doing that activity did, it, did you learn something did you feel like you you, you grew uh, in your skills okay so that's another type of factor um so those are the kind of the and another another positive factor would be how many clients you got just simply list a number did you get one client from it two clients etc cetera, etc cetera, okay so those are the kind of the positive factors to evaluate for. There are negative factors to evaluate for, such as how much time did it take, right? How much time did it take to get that, you know, that new client or how much time did it take to do, do that activity? Uh, another negative factor might be uh, how much did it cost? How much did it cost for you to do that activity? So as you evaluate these things, it's so important to do this because then you'll come to see what's perfect for you. You'll get to then you know, list out the scores and say, oh my gosh, I didn't, I never saw it without objective analysis that this activity really is a waste of time for me or this activity really works for me. So that's my encouragement for you in this short video. Uh, as always, I'll put more information and details in the notes attached to this video. And until the next one, I wish you well.